Hi, James with the one hour smart home.com here. And today I'm going to show you how to wire up a smart doorbell. Now this is going to work for any smart doorbell. It'll work for what we got here. This is the ring pro doorbell. Um, this will also work for the nest hello or the ring two doorbell and a variety of other third party doorbells on the market. So if you're doing it this, this at home, the first thing that you should do is uh, turn off the power. I'm gonna leave it with the power on because I've got a controlled environment here. Uh, so it's not gonna be that bad for me to actually undo this and attach it. But installing a smart doorbell is simple. So, you know, I wanna encourage people to install these because it's a way that you are going to be able to make your family safer. Um, if you've got Amazon packages, it's a great way to prevent Amazon package theft. It's also a good deterrent because uh, once you have the smart doorbell installed, this ring, uh, actually lights up here and it's a blue light um, at nighttime. Both the Ring and the Nest Hello have that on here. We're gonna have links to this below and you can support us by clicking on the links. Um, we do get an affiliate commission from that, so I appreciate that. Um, also, uh, we're gonna have links just to our website in terms of other doorbell troubleshooting stuff that you can do. And before you go too far, uh, like and subscribe to this video, it's always appreciated. So uh, it, it's super easy to install these. It's a good investment to make. Um, you're looking, you know, in the range for a smart doorbell somewhere between 100 and uh, 250 bucks, which can sound like a lot. But the reality is, if you catch somebody stealing something, or even if you prevent a theft, it's probably going to pay for itself. Um, I actually caught a delivery driver running over our fence uh, at high speed and basically ruining the fence, and I could have been out thousands of dollars had I not had it on camera and proven that they actually did this. So first thing for you, if you're going to uh, install a smart doorbell is turn off the power. Um, we don't have that problem here because I'm just gonna work on it. And if you do have a multimeter, like what we've got here, um, it's always a good idea to check how much voltage you have so you know if you have enough voltage for your smart doorbell. Typically the Nest and Ring both require, the Nest and Ring Pro require 16 volts, 16 to 24 volts AC. And the Ring 2, a lot of people don't know this, but the Ring 2 can run completely on batteries, but it also can run on uh, just 10 volts of power. So if you have a lower voltage transformer, the Ring 2 doorbell is a good option. Um, this is a nice little multimeter that uh, picked up off Amazon. Uh, you know, it does everything my more expensive multimeters do, but it's like, you know, a half the price or a third the price. I think this runs somewhere in the range of $20 to $40, um, depending where you get it from. We'll include a link to this below, but what I like about this is that it is an auto ranging multimeter. So, you could just check the voltage um, either by putting it on the transformer or the bottom of the uh, the doorbell. A lot of people want to know where their doorbell transformer is, and uh, we've got a link to that below where you can find it. So we got 22 volts here. We are good to go because we only need 16 to 24 volts for that. You could also check it by pulling the doorbell off your front and uh, off the front of your house, and you could check it right here. So you would just take your two pins like this and check, and it's kind of hard for me to get, get it in the video and check it out at the same time. All right, so you can see down in the corner, we've got uh, 21.4 volts. So that is more than enough voltage for what we need to do to install a smart doorbell, but this is handy. Um, I'll include a link to this below. There's also another version that is um, not automatic self-ranging, uh, which is even cheaper, which I highly recommend. For a couple dollar investment, it's gonna help you a lot. Also, you can diagnose like, you know, dead car batteries, all that kind of stuff, and other electrical wiring. If you're doing smart home stuff in your house, it's definitely a worthwhile investment. So for us, we're just going to unscrew these two wires here. Uh, you would remove the doorbell from the front of your house if you've not done so already. Okay, so we've got that one wire and then move it out of the way uh, so we don't shock ourselves there. And we're going to take the other one, we're gonna remove that. Okay, that doorbell's done. And then the one thing with this is um, you need to kind of like 
make a nice little hook like that so it'll fit onto the terminals on the back of any of the doorbells whether it's ring whether it's nest they all have like a similar mounting system just like this so then you're going to put uh put that wire on there to the terminal i'm gonna screw it back in okay and then over here you're going to take this and you're gonna screw that in okay all right, so we've got those both locked in. Make sure the wires are secure um, because when you put this back on the door, um, you don't want those wires to come off. So, you know, that one's secure there. This one is here. Ideally, you want to make the hooks like I, I made like this so that when the screw turns, it tightens the wire around the screw. I did it on the opposite on here just because I, I really wasn't thinking about it too much. But you don't get as good of a hold as you would if it is hooked the same direction as the rotation of the wire so this is the right way to do it here on the left and this is an okay way to do it but you're better off uh, with what i did on the left here so all right you can see that this is lit up now the ring pro is lit up and um it's working it it's not flashing in real life for whatever reason the video recording equipment records it in that flashing manner it's not um and this now works now, the Ring Doorbell Pro does come with a power kit, but if you have enough power, you don't need to install that over here. And the Nest Hello has a chime kit, which basically does a similar purpose, but the chime kit allows you to silence the doorbell, which some people like, some people don't care about, some people don't need. If you've got a dog or a baby that's sleeping and napping, the silence feature is a good option. So if you have that, you would just connect it at these two terminals here inside the doorbell. Relatively simple procedure to do. Um, but now we're just going to show you that this works. And that is the Ring doorbell. That's how it works. Okay, so this is the Ring Pro. I'll include a link to this. Um, the Ring Pro, Ring 2, and the Nest Hello are uh, kind of the best of the bunch of smart doorbells that i recommend they all have hd video they're going to record uh video footage store it allow you to access it on the phone and both the nest and the ring doorbells work with alexa and um, when i say they work with alexa so they will all display live video feeds on alexa we've got another video i think showing that but if you have an Echo Show or an Echo Show 5 or an Echo Spot or even a Fire TV or Fire TV Cube, you can say A-L-E-X-A, -E show me my video footage or my ring doorbell, and it's going to pull up the live footage on your TV or on your Echo device. So I actually use that all the time if I'm waiting for delivery. Um, I'll pull up the live video feed on the Echo Show at my desk, and I can see who's going to be at the front door. So that's kind of a nice uh, feature to have with uh, Alexa. And the Nest one also works with Google Home Hub, Google Home Nest Hub, Max, whatever they call that, uh, to do a similar feature. But Nest will also work with Alexa. Now, another cool feature about the Ring doorbells and Alexa is that the Ring doorbells can be paired with your ALEXA devices to actually work as remote doorbells. So I really like that feature, and you can connect it to any of the Alexa devices. Um, so it's nice to have it connected to, like, uh, you know, an Echo Show or Echo Dot. And if you don't have a doorbell in a far corner of the room or in like a basement, but you still want to be able to hear the doorbell, that's a great way to be able to hear things. And the other cool thing is uh, you can have them detect motion and tell you like, hey, motion was detected at the front door through Alexa, which is really nice. If you are having problems with package theft, you know, a uh, package thief doesn't ring the doorbell. So uh, it's a great way to... Um, it's a great way to be able to catch them in the act because you're going to get a notification that there's motion at your front door and then you can check the video to see what's going on. Whereas, you know, if you just have the doorbell, the only time you're going to be notified is when some pre someone presses the doorbell. So Alexa can do that with the ring doorbells as well as the ring chime can do that with the ring doorbells or any of the other ring devices. So like the ring... Uh, cameras, the stick-up cameras, the ring floodlight cams, which I really like. I think the floodlight cam is one of the better ways to protect your home. But any of these smart doorbells are a great investment. So I hope this shows you how uh, to wire a smart home doorbell. 
And before we go, we'll just kind of like give you one real quick rundown. So you think, oh, well this, my house doesn't look like this simple, but this is exactly how your house is wired. This is how doorbells are wired. It's just that all this wiring is in the wall, okay? So what you've got, we'll start over here at the transformer, is you've got uh, high voltage powers coming in right here. Okay, so that's 120 volts, that's your typical house circuit. It goes into here and then the power is then converted down to lower voltage here at the transformer, the doorbell transformer. Okay, so this is what converts 120 volts down to 16 to 24 volts, or in our case, it was like 22 volts. Um, and even though this is rated as a 16 volt transformer, because these things aren't precise and there are fluctuations in how much power your actual house is getting from the power grid, um, this actually read 22. So. What people don't understand sometimes is that voltage at your house is not always exactly what um, you might think it's beginning. So it's a good idea to measure stuff with a multimeter. Um, and the reason is because your voltage, depending on where you are in the electrical grid and depending on the actual voltage it's coming from the wires out in your street, you may have a little bit of a variation in voltage. So. Anyways, uh, the doorbell transformer steps down to a lower voltage, which is a safer voltage to use in homes, as well as uh, isn't as hazardous as 120 volts. Um, then from the transformer, you go from the transformer to the transformer terminal on the doorbell chime, and then from the doorbell chime to the uh, doorbell itself. And you can see this says front, that's for front door or front doorbell. Um, so the front door terminal on the doorbell chime then goes to the doorbell, the smart doorbell here, which is a Ring Pro in this case. And then you've got the wire that goes back from the front door doorbell or doorbell button back to the transformer. So you can see this creates a circuit or a loop. And that is how smart doorbells work. That's how smart doorbells are wired. That's how normal old doorbells work. Um, so we hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe, like this video. Hope this was helpful. We're going to give you more wiring, uh, videos and diagrams and stuff because a lot of people like this and this helps people troubleshoot and install doorbells on their own. So highly recommend this for, uh, doorbell troubleshooting, a multimeter, and then, uh, obviously a, uh, doorbell. Now, if you're having any problems with your setup, what I recommend doing is going to one hour smart home.com because we have written extensively about how to fix common problems that you may have with your doorbell, whether it be a smart doorbell or a standard old style doorbell like this. And we've kind of gone through all the different things that might happen. So if you've got a bad chime or what chimes work with the uh, ring doorbells or work with the Nest doorbells and what transformers that you should use for a smart doorbell like the ring or the Nest doorbell. And we've tested all this stuff out for you because a lot of people were having problems getting the right doorbell chime, getting the right transformer for their smart home doorbell, and then they just give up on the smart home doorbell, which don't do that. There's probably an easy fix to it, and you can do it, and we're gonna show you how to do it, or you can click on one of those articles or search our website, and you're gonna be able to find stuff that's gonna be help you complete the project, and then you're gonna be able to have a safer home. So highly recommend all this stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, like this video, and thank you. Visit us at onehoursmarthome.com or click any of the links below if you want to support us.